Well, it's a bit hard to be brief, but um, the Statue of Liberty, of course, was a gift of the French people to the people of the United States. Um, Ellis Island was a uh, immigration station that closed in 1954, and uh, the government tried everything they could to get rid of it until our private group came along to save it. So um, the Statue of Liberty is, is the symbol of America, and in brief, and Ellis Island is the symbol of welcome, in brief. The reference of uh, Lady Liberty as a symbol of not only America, but a, a symbol of this expo. And it's very, it was very pleasing to start through the expo and see the torch. Um, the torch of Lady Liberty has moved on a couple of occasions. Now, I, we know this isn't the real one here, but it, it's very close to looking like the real one. And the torch is a light, a light to beckon people to America, a light, to, a light of welcome, a light of uh, new opportunities. And I am hoping that, that uh, when people see the torch here in Expo, that they will have all the same thoughts about uh, the torch and America and the torch as a symbol of America. How did freedom and inclusion affect immigration to the United States? Well, it, it affected it in several ways. The United States is a huge country, so it needed people during the Industrial Revolution. And it just so happened that during that period of time, there were wars, there was famine, there was problems all over the world. And the United States became a welcoming place for people from everywhere. Now, being totally accurate, most of those people came from uh, Europe, and some came from the Middle East, and some came from the Caribbean islands, but the great majority of them came from Europe. They were all different ethnicities, uh, but they came because they felt that there was an opportunity for them in the United States. And in most cases, they found an opportunity. And if, and, and if they didn't, they set, up the, uh, they set up opportunities for their children and their grandchildren. And that's one of the magical things about the United States. When Ellis Island was opened in 1892, there were thousands of people that came through it because there were so many people that were coming to America. Um, but they were mostly people of Western and, and uh, Northern European extract. And uh, they were mostly Protestants. Suddenly, in the late 1880s and 90s and 1900s, immigration shifted. It, people were now coming from Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, and the Middle East, as well as from the Caribbean. So that went on for a number of years, until 1924. I think they decided, the, the officials in charge decided it's, uh, we have too many people uh, from Southern and Eastern Europe, and uh, we're going to change the rules, which in fact they did. Then came the Depression, then came World War II, and there wasn't much immigration during that period of time. After World War II, immigration picked up again and continues on today with different people coming than uh, came in the early years. The good question is how is the U.S. tackling uh, being open to the world uh, at this point in time? And it's ironic that uh, we have taken another step on our integration, immigration path, similar to some of the steps that we take, took in the years before. And yet, hundreds of thousands of new citizens from different areas are coming to the United States to uh, try to make a living and to improve their lot in life. Uh, so immigration has changed again. And now the majority of immigrants are coming from the Middle East, the subcontinent of, of India, um, east, the east, eastern part of Asia, uh, and South and Central America. And we're going through 
some of the same um, situations that we went through uh, 100 years ago. And yet, we know that we are a nation of immigrants. And we are a nation that opens our doors. And I'm sure that with places like Expo to tell the story, places like Ellis Island where we tell the accurate story of immigration, we don't sugarcoat it, um, that um, uh, the United States will continue to be that great beacon for people from all over the world.